That's right. Come on. Oh. Hello, lovely people of God. Welcome, even to the time with the brothers, the She Media Ghana. We are on the grounds of Hope Yave Global Evangelical Church. Where we have met this handsome young man here with us. Okay, so we want to interact with him, find out about what is going on here, even at Global Evangelical Church Hope Yave, and then we will ask him a couple of questions about the independence of Ghana. So I would allow him to introduce himself to us. Gentlemen, please question him. I'm Edmond Enam. Okay, so he's Edmond. Are you having a new portfolio here at church? Are you joining in the um, department? Okay, so I um, recently joined the media team. Yes, I'm still learning. Wow, that is great. Okay, so we have seen the dress and that our lovely people are putting on and the atmosphere looks so exciting. What is going on here? Well, as we all know, we um, recently celebrated our independence as a country. So today is Inter um, Ghana Sunday where we are representing our country. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. They are already doing well for their motherland. That's great. So with the sermon that was being preached, um, can you share with us your thoughts or your take home message? So basically, um, we, we, we learned that corruption starts from the home. So even though we blame our leaders, we have to make sure that right from our homes, we do the right thing so that when we go out there, it should show over there. Wow, that is so great. I really learned something. Even from his spectrum message, God bless you. Okay, so we will dive into any aspect of um, the independence of Ghana. Okay, so we want to find out from him, when did Ghana attain her independence? 1957. Wow. Much. Wow, he's he's very good. That is good. Let me let me ask this very last question. Okay, um, what was Ghana formerly known as before we got the name Ghana? Gold Coast. Hey, he took his social studies lessons very serious. Wow, wow, it is great interacting with him. I think let's ask this last very last uh, question. Can you recite either the national pledge or the anthem for us? Maybe the pledge. I might make a mistake, but I don't know. Let, let's give it a try. I promise on my honor to be faithful and loyal to God and my motherland. <laughs> I pledge myself. Um, I pledge myself to the service of Ghana, and I forgot to make pledge. Okay. Okay. Let's sing the um, anthem together. God bless our homeland, Ghana, and make our nation great and strong. Go to defend forever the cause of freedom and of right. I you humility, make us cherish fearless honesty. And Forevermore. I knew I'll get him right there, but uh, he knew this anyway. Okay, thank you so much, man of God. It's been excited having you with us today. We are the She Media and we give you nothing but the best. So we met another beautiful lady with us here. She's looking pretty, oh my god. Uh, yes, yeah, so we want to ask her a couple of questions that are already been introduced. So this is a time with a brethren and we are here at School Fiave Global Evangelical Church. Okay, so we have with us here. I'm Judith Bata Germany. Wow, wow, wow. Judith, sister Judith. Okay, so we want to ask, do you have any um, portfolio here with a church or any department you are joining? Well, I'm just part of the youth. Okay, that is the that is the part of at least one. Okay, so we can see the atmosphere is so excited and it's so charged. What is going on here? Oh, okay. As we all know, we are in the months where Ghana attain its independence. So the church just put aside this day to do a Ghana day whereby we all dress in African print or things that represent an African. Wow, that's so cool. Okay, this is so interesting. Alright, so then I want to ask uh, a couple of things about the sermon. 
Okay, so the salmon I think was in line with the purpose of Adrian. So let's find out from here what she took out from the salmon. Okay, what I've taken out from the salmon is the person said corruption. He spoke about corruption and he said corruption is all it's not all exercised by politicians. We also practice it at home. So he tackled and cautioned parents not to practice things pertaining to corruption for kids or grown up like us to learn from them. Wow. Exactly. I think I heard an illustration or an example where Pastor said somebody will come looking for you in the house and you saw your daughter or your son, your children, please. Go outside and go and tell the person I'm not around. I'm not around. All these are examples of the beginning of corruption. Thank you so much for reminding me of this very one. Okay, so we also want to um, ask a think this is an independent atmosphere. Let's kind of find out about how her social studies life as towards. So which year did Ghana attain her independence? 1957. Wow, she's a shark. Okay, so we want to ask, okay, to the east of Ghana, which country do we have to the east? We have north, south, east and west. So which country is at the west? East of Ghana, sorry. East of Ghana. Yeah, we are very familiar with them, actually. Okay. Ewe. We... Burkina. No, last time. Mm. Oh, it's not Cote d'Ivoire. Togo, that is wonderful. So let, let's let's uh, let's ask you about some current issue with Ghana or affairs of Ghana. Who is the current education minister for Ghana? That's for that one. That's for that one. We we'll take it on that time. Don't worry. We want her to recite to us either the national anthem or the pledge. Maybe she can even sing the national anthem. Let's find out from here. Okay, I'll sing. God bless our homeland, Ghana. Make our nation great and strong, both to defend forever the cause of freedom and of rights. Fill our hearts with truth.